For part three of our year one edition series, we're going to be using what's called a number track. These are a fantastic way to move on from using bead strings, and they're a great way to move into using number lines. So let's have a look at our first question, and we'll show you how to use one of these. So our first question here is eight add seven, so eight plus seven. So like with the other videos, we'll look at the first number, and what we'll do this time is we'll colour in eight squares. So the best thing to do here is to obviously find the number eight and to colour that one in there. And then what we'll do is we'll colour the rest of those. Um, obviously I'm doing this really quickly. You'll take a little bit more care when you do this so it looks a lot neater and a lot nicer than this one. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll look for the second number which is seven. And we need to add seven to these eight here. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can see that we actually don't need to count how many there are all together, really, because we've coloured in from one to 15. So we know that we've coloured in 15 all together. So we know that eight add seven equals 15. Okay, let's have a look at another example. This time we're looking at the question 4 add 12 or 4 plus 12. By this point you know that I recommend swapping these around if the biggest number comes second. So we'll just swap that around to 12 add 4 or 12 plus 4 if you like. Now then, <coughs> the same as with the first example, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the first number and we're going to colour in that many squares. We know that the first number is 12, so we'll get the number 12 and we'll colour that in, and then we'll colour up to the number 12. As I said before, I'm doing these really quickly using a highlighter. I'm sure you can do this much more neatly than I can using pencil crayons to keep things nice and neat and tidy. Okay, there's our first set of numbers coloured. So that's 1 all the way through to 12. And now what we need to do is we need to add the 4. So we'll colour four more on here, because obviously if we're adding, we're always making the number bigger, adding more. So one, two, three, and four. So like I said with the last one, we don't actually need to count how many there are all together, because we know that we've covered in from one all the way up to 12, and then we've not missed any, and we've coloured from 12 up to 16. So. 1 to 16, 12 add 4 is 16. And that's all there is to that one. It's worth remembering though that obviously the number 16 is 1, 10 and 6 units. So that's our 10s and units in there. 16 is 1, 10 and 6 units.